What's going on there, guys? Good evening. Uh, it is Earthmaster here on the live stream uh, on this Thanksgiving evening, uh, November 25th, 2021. It's a date. About 7 p.m. California time. And uh, latest quake, uh, well, at least the largest quake over here around uh, the uh, Myanmar area. 6.1 earthquake striking a little bit ago in this area of the world. 32.8 kilometers uh, for this uh, depth of the earthquake. This earthquake comes after a... Uh, a bunch of deep movement here around the Vanuatu area and the Tonga area, including a uh, very deep earthquake, 4.4 .4 earthquake around the Fiji Islands area earlier today. This one here, 615 kilometers below the surface. We also seen uh, early this morning a 6.0 earthquake in the Solomon Islands area, 39 kilometers. So looking at two six pointers so far within a 24 hour period. A little bit of uptick in earthquake activity. Of course, all this deeper movement uh, kind of uh, leading towards the pressure over here around this area where we've seen that 6.1 earlier this evening. A lot of times this deeper movement th to the north here and to the south kind of draws an arrow, if you will, to some further uh, buildup of pressure and shallower earthquake activity um, in this region of the world. It's been relatively quiet uh, over here recently. Just a couple small earthquakes here over the last week or so. Not a whole lot of movement, uh, but uh, 6.0, 6.1, pretty good size earthquake, shaking things up out there in that area of the world. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the map here. All magnitudes here brings us down here. Some movement around the Alaska region, basically uh, Anchorage northward up through the uh, uh, Fairbanks area, at least outside of Fairbanks, seeing a little bit of earthquake activity. Most of the regional earthquake here around the Anchorage area. Some deep earthquake movement as well into the subduction zone of the uh, North American Pacific plate boundary. Quite a bit of uh, smaller quakes, but deeper quakes in this region of the world. Over here along the west coast, uh, things relatively calm, uh, if you can call it that. Ridgecrest looking pretty empty of earthquake activity this evening. Uh, that wasn't the case over the past few days, but it looks as though a lot of the movement we're seeing uh, towards the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, relieving, at least temporarily, uh, some stress out here along the Southern California West Coast region. Uh, we are seeing, of course, some microquake activity around Long Valley Super, Super Volcano, and uh, including 2.9 near Tom's Place. Long Valley Super Volcano sitting right around this region here. Uh, but uh, look at Ridgecrest, really, really, really quiet uh, over the past 24 hours. A little bit of movement along the Garlock Fault structure, just a 1.1 uh, near Mojave. But uh, overall, things relatively calming down. Some earthquakes around the San Andreas Fault system, just some microquakes along the creeping section. Things looking absent down here as well, just not a whole lot of movement, folks. The Gulf of California, a little bit different story. Earlier today, a couple fours kicking off once again in this region of the Gulf of California. Over the last week or so, we have seen a swarm of movement in this area, including a 4.9 so far, the largest cluster or largest quake in this cluster of earthquakes there in the Gulf of California. Uh, no main, I don't think we've seen a main shake yet. So uh, still kind of keeping an eye on things but uh, I think we're in a little temporary relief program thanks to all the deep movement over here in the Fiji Islands area and uh, some further uh, surface quaking over here with that 6.1 that struck earlier this evening. Uh, Hawaii getting in on some activity uh, over the last 24 hours, including a little bit, little bit of movement around the Kilauea volcano area, just outside of Kilauea, 3.5 near Volcano, Hawaii and uh, another 2.1 within that region of the Big Island. Southeast flank looking pretty active as well. A little bit of movement around the Mauna Loa uh, area with a 1.8 and off offshore uh, underwater. Lohi Seamount looking pretty quiet. No earthquake activity to report on the map there from the USGS. Uh, looking over here in the South America region, look at that. Not a whole lot of movement there, folks. Nothing. Zip zero. We did see some further activity around the South Sandwich Islands region of 5.0. Puerto Rico area getting in on some activity. Not a whole lot of movement there either. Um, we did have one little microquake out here around the New Madrid area. A little 
near the uh, Missouri area. Oklahoma, just a couple small scattered earthquakes. Overall, things are uh, kind of diminishing, folks, like I mentioned here along the West Coast. Yellowstone activity looking pretty bleak. Not a whole lot of movement to report in the Yellowstone area. A couple small microquakes in the vicinity of the Purple Mountain Medicine River area. Other than that, nothing really to chat about. Uh, this here is interference at the Soda Butte station. Not uh, any type of magma intrusion or major earthquake activity, just interference. Maybe someone adjusting the uh, sensitivity of the station or it malfunctioning. It looks like a malfunction in my book there at Soda Butte. The tremor department along the uh, Cascadia subduction zone remains quiet, folks. Zero epicenters here to report once again along the Cascadia subduction zone. Earthquake activity around the Cascadia thing, um, pretty quiet. There was a 2.1 somewhat deep, this subduction zone quake, 2.1, 22 kilometers uh, below the surface into the subduction zone just outside of Eureka, California. Uh, other than that, things look very bleak and quiet up here through the Pacific Northwest. Intermountain West regions quiet as well. Looking at the solar weather activity on the sun, there's not a whole lot to report, folks. Just a little bit of geomagnetic forca uh, storming forecasted around the 27th and 28th. 60% chance uh, issued for the higher latitudes of the aurora uh, potentially being seen there with the storming up there. Major solar flare threat? There is none. No noteworthy events detected or to even chat about. Just 15% chance of a sea flare. As you can see here on the sun, sunspot activity uh, dying down and almost absent completely of sunspots. Just 2898, they're kind of popping off there all by its lonesome self on that huge sun. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Hope everyone enjoyed their Thanksgiving evening. Um, if you did celebrate it, happy Thanksgiving. I just hung out with the family for a little bit. Had uh, the typical uh, fixings with all the uh, turkey and whatnot, and I am ready for bed. Let me tell you, I'm always tired after eating turkey, and that's a good thing. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there, and we will chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.